Hey Taurus, how are you? Welcome. This is going to be your reading. This is a monthly reading for the month of April. It could resonate now or later on down the line. Anything could come out during this reading, and I can't stress this enough, right till the very last second, even after I click off, I could click back on, and most of you who know my channel know how that happens all the time here. Sometimes random messages come through for different people at the very end, even after I've clicked off, so I come back on camera. All right, let's talk about it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus or anyone else who's guided to see the Taurus reading, for whatever reason, you're here, welcome. This could be your reading. We've got to be fair, not for you and chaos and conflict. So something getting balanced out by you, um, something's not for you. So to balance it out uh, and because it's chaos and conflict. So there's something here about chaos and conflict. And if something kind of happens that, um, let how should I word this? If something happens that is, out of the blue like it feels very chaotic and conflicty and something happens and you're like why is this happening and spirits like we're doing it for you why because we want you to have balance so higher power has stepped in and they want you to use your intuition on this this is for you so when chaos and conflict busts out in something I'd say roll with it and I'm not talking about something horrible but you know if something gets kind of um what seems like chaotic or you're like why is the conflict starting why is this happening it's being kind of pushed by spirit to create a um, balance for you because the way it is right now is not balanced for you it's not for you so this is going to push you or other people in a direction so that you can have something better all right now or it can turn out better or it will work out better because of the conflict and the chaos that's happening it's going to cause a balance to come in this is the wisdom of the oracle we're also using tarot mucha and we're also using witches tarot to clarify all right let's do it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading it's the taurus reading it's for anyone who's guided it could resonate right now or it could resonate later on down the line if you don't know what this is i say pay even closer attention because it could be something that's coming up that you're unaware of or it could be an outcome that you don't know about yet so i would definitely pay close attention even if you don't know what it is it could be predictive this reading could like i said anything could come out right to the very very last second and even beyond one more shuffle taurus reading all right let's do it to be fair not for you chaos and conflict and higher power stepping into it to cause it and this look at that to cause you to be released from something that's not for you oh my goodness what else do we need to know absolutely and it could be because there's always chaos and conflict that spirit's trying to get you to release something king of wands and page of pentacles and that's way too many let's move these up a little what else do we need to know what are the messages the two of cups reverse this could have something to do with a partnership or it could be you and your partner going through this it could have something to do with uh this knight of pentacles in reverse something that's been a long time coming or something that um hasn't I'm going to keep these all together down here and we'll grab another one for up there. And there's a reason why I want to keep these three together. They came out together and I, they're telling a little bit of a story. Can we have a, one more card to surround the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? Eight of Cups makes total sense. All right. So listen, this is happening to get you out of what's not for you. And what's not for you is a bunch of stress. And Spirit says, again, make sure you're listening to your intuition because this is going to be an ending of some sort, but it's the end of stress. It's Ten of Swords reversed, High Priestess reversed, and the Nine of Swords. And it also could be that there's secrets involved in this that are going to be exposed and they're being exposed for you. So when this happens, don't freak out because everything that's happening here is for you because this is a stressful situation for you and they're trying to release you from that stress 
done, you know, gone. These two cards are so much alike, but look how they're opposites. I'm in a lot of stress. I'm releasing a lot of stress. Um, I'm releasing whatever it is, or I'm being, something could be disclosed to you. Information could be disclosed to you. When the high priest is re reversed, sometimes the secrets are coming out that were withheld, and now you're not blindfolded anymore. You have the information. And it ends something that was very difficult. So this is for you, no matter how we look at this reading. All right, now, smack dab in the center of the reading, the Knight of Pentacles reverse tells me something's been at a complete stop or a standstill or hasn't come in, or this could be something that you um, have been waiting for but haven't received. It could be an opportunity. It could be a payment. It could be a um, something very stable. It could be... Um, an advancement it could be an offer sometimes I see it as a proposal um, you know like that's the ring because it, it holds the the pentacle to me sometimes I don't know why I see it as an engagement ring but this engagement isn't happening we've got the knight of pentacles reverse with the two of cups reverse which does not have to be a love reading by the way it could be any kind of um, partnership friendship whatever now down here we do have the lovers so for some of you it definitely is a love reading and it came out with the hierophant so this is like some kind of a bond but this also could be a decision about a um some kind of a contract or a bond with a person for some of you this is platonic and some of you this is love uh, we're getting a distinct split in this reading but whatever it is something's going to be exposed to you or revealed to you or it's going to allow you to release something that you've been all caught up in your head about and allow you to leave behind something that's not for you the eight of cups is all about leaving behind baggage leaving behind emotional woes leaving behind something that's not for you and it's going to allow you to step into something more balanced um, because there's disappointment around this, the nine of cups reverse. I feel like your cup was empty. You thought you were going to have this full cup come in, but instead the cup is empty. And this really means to me, um, you know, but I do feel like when you leave this behind, there's going to be other opportunities that come in for you. This page of pentacles here says what's happening here is actually leading you to other opportunities. And it's going to allow you to get unstuck and be able to be in this action energy of the king of wands. It doesn't matter your gender, but um, it's more of an energy of action rather than being, you know, imprisoned here. You're being released from something, but you're being released because something's being revealed or something's being disclosed. Let's get um let's get some clarity on it with the witch's tarot spirit and angels. Anyone for the highest good for Taurus. What do we need to know about this reading for Taurus? What are the messages? Taurus reading for anyone who's guided for the Taurus. Taurus reading. This reading could like I said resonate right now or later on down the line. Uh it could be for anyone who's guided to see it, you don't have to specifically be a Taurus sun sign to resonate with it. Anyone could resonate. All right, let's do it. Let's talk about that Knight of Pentacles smack dab in the middle there, not budging, not moving. What do we need to know about that Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Two of Cups reversed? Oh, there we go. Okay, the star reverse, disappointment. Absolutely. I see it here. Like, this is something that you probably really wanted, but it didn't work out. There's disappointment around it. Let's look at the lovers and the hierophant here. Tell me about the lovers and the hierophant or the high priest. Empress reverse. Now, when I look at this, I see the same energy of disappointment around a partnership and disappointment around a partnership. I see it here and it's you feeling this disappointment, this Empress reversed. All right, let's take a look at the Eight of Cups here. Eight of Cups, what do we need to know about it? This is for the whole month of April, but of course it could resonate any time you're guided or it could just resonate later on down the line. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What do we need to know? Okay. 
two of wands on a new path. So this really has to do with you leaving something disappointing behind, but it's to go on a new journey, to go head towards new opportunities, which sits right above it. And you're scoping it out here with the hermit. I feel like you're looking at other opportunities because of the fact this just did, there was something here and you could have waited for this. You could have felt stressed out about this. Um, just de def definitely there's a, a level of disappointment here. And it doesn't matter whether this is a platonic situation or a love situation. I'm getting the exact same energy. Let's look at the, um, I want to look at the King of Wands looking right at the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Wands and the Knight of, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles. King of Wands, Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this? Yeah, the world in the tower. Whew. Wow, so this is a big change. Um, it's a big change and it's an action. I'm taking action. I'm going after new beginnings and it's going to be a big deal. Um, I'm going to bring down the tower as I'm taking this, at, like uh, I'm... I'm creating havoc in my wake, basically. As I'm walking, the tower is crumbling behind me, but I'm heading into new opportunities in a new direction. I'm on a new journey. So this really says to me, whatever you're doing here, that's this action that you take towards new opportunities, new beginnings, it's kind of going to, um, it could be like an announcement you make with the look at the page of wands hey i'm bringing down the tower i'm on a new journey i'm on a new path by the way it's a decision that i just made two of swords like i'm not blindfolded and bound anymore thinking about it or blocking it i've made up my mind i'm not going to stay like this anymore why because i see something more clearly i feel as though you make up your mind about something and it causes this rumble as you're as you leave the building, you slam the door behind you and the whole building comes down, you know, but it's of course all metaphorical, but it's just something like you do for you that leaves everybody like maybe stunned. Uh, let's look at the eight of swords because the nine of swords, eight of swords, you change, everything changes in this moment. In this moment, it's like, oh, I'm going to do this. And, um, it's all been based on some kind of disappointment around the situation with something to do with a partnership. Tell me about this. And this could be for you and your partner, remember. Um, as soon as I started shuffling, the Page of Swords came out. So this feels to me like that announcement. Again, like the Knight of Wands was like, hey, by the way. Or I'm sorry, the Page of Wands was like, hey, by the way, I'm leaving. That feels exactly the same. I have an agenda. I have something I'm doing. I'm on a mission. I'm not staying in the imprisonment anymore. Um, I'm listening to my intuition now. I might not have been before. Uh, this might be you not listening to your intuition who, that was telling you, hey, it's time for you to go. Uh, there's things you're missing out on, new opportunities, new adventures, a new cycle, higher power, because they're trying to guide you into something you know, out of the chaos and conflict and what's not for you into something fair and balanced and good for you in a brand new cycle. So it's really a nice energy. Unfortunately, it comes off the heels of this disappointment that you've been in about the situation. But this disappointment existed way before this reading. So remember this, you're going to know this is your reading because you're going to be, have been disappointed. I feel in a partnership or around a partnership for some of you, it could be you and your partner are upset about something. Um, and you're moving in another direction, but I'd love to hear from you guys. If you will comment down below, happy Easter. I hope you have a blessed holiday. Have a great week, uh, month for the rest of you. Uh, who are not celebrating Easter. And please don't forget to like this video. It puts you in the running for bonus readings on this channel and weekly readings on this channel. So thank you so much.